Hello everyone, welcome to our course of A Glimpse of Chinese Culture. In this section, we will continue with the modern history of China and the economic development in contemporary China. As the Opium War opening the door of China, it also began semi-feudal, semi-colonial status of China in Chinese history. People fought against the feudalism and the leadership of Sun Yan-sen. One year after the revolution of 1911, the Republic of China was founded. But soon it was seized by Yuan Shikai, who later returned back to the feudalism and called himself king. In 1919, the fourth main movement broke out. And in 1921, the CPC was founded, thus beginning a new period in Chinese history. After anti-Japanese war and the liberation war, the People's Republic of China was founded in 1949. But from Opium War to the founding of People's Republic of China, there are more than a hundred years. China's economy has been devastated. Before the development of the country, economy has to be put in the most crucial position. In 1978, Deng Xiaoping proposed the policy of reform and opening up. In the next few years, China's economy has developed at an unprecedented rate, and that momentum has been held steady into the 21st century. The restructuring of the economy and the resulting gains have contributed to a more than tenfold increase in GDP since 1978. The successful reform led by Deng Xiaoping, the chief architect, has made China the world's second largest economy by nominal GDP and by purchasing power parity, only after the United States. It is now the largest exporter and second largest importer of goods in the world, and is also the largest manufacturing economy in the world. By now, China is aiming at changing its advantages from manufacturing to innovating, as innovation is the inexhaustible driving force for the development of our country. Okay, that's the end of this section. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you can enjoy it. See you.